How big a deal is this, Laura? To me, it's a huge, huge deal. Is it to the senators and representatives? Uh, this is a, a big, big deal to taxpayers, big, big deal in New York, New Jersey, uh, though the other 48 states or, you know, the 47 states, they don't care as much. You hear a lot of uh, of complaining from a couple members of Congress. The unlikely thing is that it's, it's going to become um, something that will reach President Trump's desk. There's a few people that are very mad. But, uh, you know, look, it's we're having trouble funding the government, much less, uh, you know, making small, oh, minor policy tweaks. Are they going to, well, tweak it? Are they going to tweak it and amend it? Or are they going to get rid of it? Or does it stay? Stay forever because somebody in Nebraska says it's got to stay. Well, you know, forever is, is a long time, but for right now, at least while President Trump is in the White House, and probably even beyond that, you look at a lot of the people who are running on the, the Democratic side who right. could challenge him, uh, you know, it's <clears> unlikely <throat> that someone, a very progressive candidate, Elizabeth Warren, for example, would be open to an idea of, uh, you know, basically getting rid of a, a tax limitation that would mostly go towards higher income people.